Hello everyone, my life here. Thank you very much for tuning in to another video. In this video, we're going to do an unboxing of the watch, which is um, Casio LCW-M100 DSE-2 AER. Quite the mouthful. It's um, Casio Lineage Range, the Tough Solar. It's a radio watch as well. First of all, before unboxing, just like to tell you as to why I bought this watch. I had a very stringent sort of requirement from a watch. First things that I wanted was um, that it has to have um, um, second hand as well. <laughs> I know it's a little thing, but um, yeah, in no particular order this. It needed to be at least 50 meters water resistant, preferably 100. Had to have at least four alarms. Uh, never needed replacing of the battery, well, as much as possible really. As well as never having to adjust the time. These were just the basic requirements, apart from also having to look smart. You know, I don't want it to be the sort of watch that I can't wear with a suit or to a job interview, things like that. So also needed to look smart. Um, the final one needed priced below £150. The, 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 the more we can get below that, the better. And I did a lot of research for it, must have what, uh, you know seen at least like a thousand watches and I'm not joking with that figure uh, not just on the main big websites but also the little ones and the medium ones had a look at all of those until I found the watch that met all my requirements um, of course the watch should have other features as well like a stopwatch and a countdown timer literally every single function that I would associate a watch to have in the modern age um, I wanted this watch to have it without it costing an arm and a leg. So the only one that fits the bill is the one that I'm unboxing, uh, which is the Casio watch. The one before this I had is a digital watch, which is £35, met all of those needs as well, except the fact that it wasn't rechargeable and it wasn't really world time in terms of automatically setting the time. So this one is a satellite watch as well, so it sets itself by getting the signal from the radio um, I know I just used the word satellite there, but yeah, I think it's radio. Um, so wherever you are in the world, whether it's in the US, the EU, the outer areas of Canada, Central America, China, Japan, uh, North America, I don't know if I already mentioned that, you will get a, uh, a, a, a receive a signal and it will automatically be set to the local time. Once you've set the local time, you can go ahead and no matter where you travel in those regions, it will adjust the time accordingly. Of course, if you're somewhere else outside of those regions, you can just change the city and it will adjust accordingly. So a bit of a long intro there, sorry, three minutes. But uh, without further ado, we're going to do the unboxing. Now, this isn't a virgin unboxing. That's the word that I normally use. Uh, the other videos that I have up, um, yeah, have up on my channel they are virgin unboxings, as if, as in before unboxing, even I've not seen what's in it. This box is a smaller, smaller than the other older boxes, I believe. So let's get it unboxing. That's what you get on the inside. Maybe I should just adjust the angle a little bit on there. Maybe set the focus. That's the box. It's a nice little box. You you used to get big cylinder cylindrical boxes with this one. Um, on the previous one, the edifice I had anyway. This is what you get with this. I'm not. I'm gonna try to make this video as small as possible because I know we like things succinct on on YouTube, don't we? We don't want things to go on forever. Sorry if I'm moving the box a bit too fast there. To do a nice little slow one for you guys. Take it off. I like the touch. I can actually put it down here, slot it down here. Still see the blue line, and maybe use it for other stuff to put things in. I've got plenty of boxes, so I don't need to do that, but. I like the fact that I can use it for other stuff with a Casio showing at the front as well. As you can see, I've already got the uh, box out. You'd have the standard things like you know leaflets and bits and bobs with this one. As you can see there, it tells you the basic instructions how to start off uh, setting up the, the watch. Uh, you get this little cardboard stopper which you take off and the watch is just in there with the most basic of instructions as to how you go and set the watch off. Receipt of the radio signal, no problems whatsoever, I have to say. I don't even have to set it by the window, which is what the instructions say, but I don't do that. And it just finds it every single day. 
without fail, no problems. I do live in the UK, so maybe that's the thing. In the UK, the signal's pretty strong, and maybe you can get it everywhere. But uh, no problems whatsoever. This is the tag that you get tied up on the watch itself. Here you go. That's what you get. And it gives you the basic details. The fact that it's radio controlled, solar powered. Another one of my criteria was battery. Have it rechargeable, preferably. World time, sort watch. You can see it meets every single criteria. And when you try to get all of these uh, features into a watch that cost £150 or less, trust me, it is really difficult. Uh, if, for example, you created a criteria that it couldn't be a Casio, you'd have to spend at least £350. Bear in mind, I'm good at shopping, so I get it. Uh, I usually find the bargains, uh, but £350, that's on the bottom end. It's only going to go up from there. Uh, here you have the manual, just flicking through it. I didn't read this. Uh, I just got the PDF version from the website. By the way, if you want to have a more detailed look at the spec, spec sheet, you can type in the model number and Casio followed by Europe and the website that comes up on a search engine. The first one probably will be the best website both for some basic pictures as well as uh, instructions, uh, sorry, specifications as well as a manual. Here we have the, uh, the basic manual again telling you to make sure you charge it. I don't do anything extra at all. I don't worry about it. I don't make sure that my sleeves are up, which is what it says. Oh, make sure that you expose the watch to some sort of light source every day. I don't do that. As you can see, I've got a full sleeve shirt on right now. I'll have that on. No problems. And it will just charge itself either from inter uh, sort of lights on the inside, artificial light or the solar, uh, sorry, the sun sunlight it makes no difference. It'll charge itself quite fine, quite happily. So that's what's in there. I've been watching it, uh, sorry, varying the watch for a couple of days, no problems whatsoever. So here's the review. I'll keep, should I keep something in the background for the vote, for the, you know, for the little, something happening in the back? Oh, there you go. That's the watch. Let's get it focused on the watch dial, getting it on a macro. Let's get this out of the way. It's getting, got all focus getting confused. There we are. Okay. Get a nice close look. Moment of silence, as you can see. The background is uh, is a bit shiny, shiny plastic. The buttons are really nice on this one, actually. And the look that I would describe this is as like a 90s retro. That's how I would describe it. Um, video coming on to about 10 minutes now. You could skip the intro, I guess. Hopefully you did. <laughs> so you got the serial number. At the bottom there on the inside uh, for the bracelet you got the little lineage information which I like even the lineage the way it's written and all that it's like very I don't know 1990s or 1980s or 70s there's the detail on the inside and again you can have that serial, serial number on the case as well I bought this watch for about 140 pounds damn near close to it um, and then I saw it drop down to 127 as well for a week or so. And it was back up at around 140. Very reasonable price. In my opinion, you cannot get a better watch than this and that price, considering the features that is it's offering you. Uh, as you can see, it's a combo of analog and digital, an elegant solution. Once you get over to the 350 pounds mark and you're requesting um, all of those, all of those features, um, Inside a watch, the dial gets really, really messy. Uh, some people like that sort of thing, but it does look like a like the inside of an um, you know airplane's cockpit. A lot of buttons, a lot of dials, sort of can get a little bit confusing. You can have a look at the design with the internal um, sort of 24-hour dials, the outside of the normal ones. Do I really need that? No, but it's a nice feature, even on the outside with the seconds. The second hand nicely lines up with all the second markings. It's a mark of a good quality watch. You don't want to watch where the second markings don't line up, and I've never seen a Casio not do that so far, ever. Um, so sometimes you'll get other watches that look very fancy, but they don't do the job properly. Um, in other details, like for example, um, it's got the light. There you go. 
it hasn't got the automatic tilt feature which I had in my other Casio edifice as well as my digital where if you tilt it it turns it on automatically maybe it does have that uh, but maybe no I don't think it does actually I, I can't remember to be honest um, you can have a look on the spec sheet uh, but I, I, I leave it off anyway I never use it just for the sake of the battery but like I said in this one it's never a concern to me about the battery use as much as, much as the light as I want to no problems I've just done that I don't know what I've done pressed a couple of buttons let's get out of this oh crap what have I done uh, crappy doodles um, <laughs> uh, thank god we're out of that um, <laughs> As you can see, a lot of features. The battery's full, um, world time on, and it tells me that it's London. That's what I've selected because I'm in the UK. It's got five alarms, and you've got timer, stopwatch. You can turn on and off the um, little tick buttons as well. The alarm on this is quite good and quite loud, reasonably so, for a wristwatch. Overall, guys, I'm very satisfied with this purchase. I would highly recommend it. It's not the flashiest of watch. If you're looking for a watch that makes a statement that people's uh, that will grab people's attention and they'll say, oh my God, that's a nice watch, dude. Then this watch probably isn't it. This is a very understated watch, very classy. Uh, the point of this watch isn't, not, neither is the design of this watch or the point is not to grab people's attention necessarily. It's just supposed to look good on your wrist. And I'll show you that now. But you, if you're looking for flashy, you can get flashier watches for a lot less than this. You can get a flashy watch which looks um, like 280 pound watch. You can get those for about 80, 90 sometimes if you uh, look in the right places at the right time. Uh, definitely 120 or so. You're talking about nice looking watches. Uh, you know that that look a lot expensive, a lot more money than they are. But of course, this is about class, the way I am really substance. All about the substance with this one style as well understated and classy uh, that's the purpose of this watch really in my opinion uh, what we'll do is also I'll show you what it looks like um, in the oops I just dropped the box uh, I'll show you that on the inside it's sort of um, hopefully you can see it uh, it has glow as well is it is it doing it let's give it a sunlight a little bit of sunlight Just gave it a bit of sunlight and there you go slight light more as you can see it was a really short time that really short time wasn't it and you can see immediately that's coming uh you know case in point with this light why is it speech that's it's an absolute requirement for me i went out to a party a few months ago and it was like at someone's farm really like a farmhouse if you if you like and uh, it was night time and no one could tell the time without taking their phones out and I had the only watch, uh, the only watch which with night glow on it. <laughs> and so I was the only one that's looking classy there with being able to tell the time any time. Whereas um, with the other people, <laughs> constantly have to get the phones out. Um, I just like the practicality of it. Being able to tell the time at night, that's crucial on a night out. Um, and at a quick glance, I don't want to have to take my phone out all the time, you know. So anyways guys, there we have it, the Casio Lineage watch. Thanks very much for tuning in. I hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a like if you did. Any improvement suggestions, let me know. Other things that you might want to have a look at as well, let me know. Uh, check out my other videos on the channel as well. All the best. Thanks for tuning into my life. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.